Hi, my name is Galen Nebaker, and I have been a video assist operator since 1986. And I specialize in HD and visual effects jobs, and I'm really excited about QTech HD. It's the first video assist system that incorporates everything that we really need as video assist operators to do our jobs. First of all, it records in full ProRes 422, two channels of HD SDI for any HD camera. All the major formats are supported. What's really exciting about it is where it goes beyond video assist. Like the built-in compositing and editing for on-set pre-visualization. And QTake has unique support for the RED1 camera, including auto start, R3D file naming, and reverse pull-down. Which means your video assist files are ready to edit offline media for Final Cut Pro, with no transcoding. And it has full stereoscopic support. Now I'm going to show you a little bit of how it works. Every keystroke in QTech can easily be recalled by hitting the function button on the keyboard, and the function of all the buttons are overlaid onto the on-screen buttons. In order to play back, you can select a clip by hitting the previous or next buttons. Hit the browse button to select a clip using the file browser, or hit G to bring up a simple sequential list of takes. On this recording, I will hit an endpoint and an out point, and then I'll stop the recording by clicking on the record tab. I can now hit disk and start my playback. I can change the frame rate, or I can play it in reverse. If I want a section of the footage to loop, I set an in point and an out point and select loop. Now hit play and the clip is now looping. In the composite room, I have some 3D footage recorded using two RED cameras. QTech can mux the two images together to output to stereo ready monitors. Stereo tools are accessed on the menu bar using the stereo button. Stereo tools appear on the screen. The system can output anaglyph by selecting red cyan to any 2D monitor, or output industry standard settings line by line, side by side, up down, or DLP mux. It also allows you to set the axial distance or swap the pictures. Another major feature of the composite room is real-time green screen compositing. Here is some footage from a recent commercial. The caution tape and the actor were shot at separate times. I wanted to help the director and crew with the timing of the next element to be shot. I selected key tools and chose green. I then set my key by adjusting the sliders until I reached a good clean key on the screen. QTake allows me to set my own clip sync between any two clips. In this case, the clips are out of sync. I went to my endpoint and dragged the playhead to the point where I wanted the two clips synced. I then turned off clip sync and selected the foreground tape by clicking in the view one window. I moved the playhead to the sync point and marked the offset. They will need to reposition the footage of the tape in post to match this shot up, so I quickly repositioned the tape using the DVE. Adjusted the sliders for horizontal and vertical till I got the correct position. I then rendered the composite clip and had it ready for playback of the full composite in real time on the set while we were shooting the background so that we could make sure we had the timing for the dolly move. QTake HD has very unique features to support the RED1 camera system. Settings allow the camera to use SDI flags to start and stop the recording automatically. It also allows you to use the R3D file name for your media. And QTake does a reverse pull down to remove any extra frames in the SDI output. What this means is that you can provide ready to edit ProRes offline media from the video assist footage, saving time and money in transcoding. We hope you enjoyed this intro to QTake HD. Full demos will be offered right here at NAB at 10 o'clock, 1 o'clock, and 4 o'clock each day please contact us at www.nebtech.com.